Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. You probably won't be watching this on a Wednesday, but it's a Wednesday for me, so happy Wednesday. What is up? I have not picked up this camera in a while. A while means a week for me, but I literally feel like I've kind of forgotten how to vlog, so <laughs> bear with me. If you guys are new around here, my name is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Gonna take you guys through a typical day in my life. I have a lot of work stuff to do today. I have grad school stuff to do today, I have YouTube stuff to do today. I just have a wide variety of things that need to go off the to-do list today. But we need to start by making a coffee because you guys know that coffee is my life. And I need a little pep in my step this morning. This is the outfit, it's all white. I don't know, I'm kind of vibing with it. It was kind of an accident because I put on these sweatpants and then this tank top was already out. So it was accident, but it was a happy accident because I actually think it's kind of cute together. It's supposed to get to like 86 degrees today in the city so I'll probably end up changing into shorts at some point and I may go sit up on my roof because get the vitamin D. I've just been loving like taking walks outside and sitting outside whenever possible because we were in super rainy muggy cold weather for so long that I'm just like now soaking it all up soaking up the sun. Before I make a coffee I'm gonna go around my apartment and light candles. This has been my favorite morning tradition lately just because it makes my apartment smell so good. Also I need to go <laughs> buy new flowers because I just realized that these are dead. But I went to Bath and Body Works the other day and stocked up on so many of their aromatherapy candles. So this one is there we go. This one is the vanilla and patchouli. I hope I pronounced that correctly but it's an aromatherapy candle. It's like one of my favorites. It smells so amazing and it fills my apartment up really well. Not that this is that big of a space, but it's just I love lighting that in the morning and then I come back into my bedroom and I light rose water and ivy. This one isn't aromatherapy, but this one's just like a super refreshing and fresh scent. Very here for it. I'm gonna show you guys my latte recipe. Basically just latte recipe that I've been loving. I know I showed a little bit of it in a few other vlogs, I think, but I figured I'd do like the in-depth recipe here. So I take a really tall glass. I bought these glasses specifically from Crate and Barrel for iced coffee. I'm obsessed with them. They work really, really well and would highly recommend. I'll have them linked down below, but I just take this glass and fill it up with ice, like literally to the very top. I like making bigger ice cubes for my iced coffee because the smaller ones are like cute and they're really good for water and it makes a lot of them but for iced coffee especially because the espresso comes out hot i've just found that it's easier for bigger ice cubes to go in the cup because it doesn't melt them as fast it just makes it for a better consistency i would say i literally think of that we got these ice cube trays from like walmart or something i've had these for I think since my freshman year of college. <laughs> Filling this up. All right, so glass is completely filled up as you guys can see. Next thing that I do, I literally almost just broke my toe from the pasta. This almost just landed on my foot and this is a glass container that I just saw my life flash before my eyes. Okay, anyways. Then next I take vanilla unsweetened almond milk from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite almond milk ever. I am not a huge non-dairy milk person. Like I've tried oat milk and I don't really like it. I've tried other almond milks and I don't really like the nutty flavor of it. But for some reason this one tastes like pretty similar to normal milk to me when it's in other drinks. So I'll like put this in my smoothies or I'll put this in my coffee like you guys are going to see. Probably wouldn't have this with a bowl of cereal, but this is like the milk that I found that tastes closest to dairy for me because it doesn't have that like nutty flavor to it. I think that's the one that I don't like is when milks have like the nutty or like natural earthy taste to it. I'm not a huge fan of that. So would recommend this if you guys are people that also don't really like non-dairy milks, but you don't like drinking dairy as well because it like breaks out your face or whatever. This one's a good one. I fill it up about halfway and then I can add more if I want to, but that's just so that I can leave room for the espresso. So fill it up halfway. Now it's time to pick the espresso pods. I actually just bought new espresso pods the other day. I bought some more of the 
Chiaro, I think that's how you pronounce it. These are my favorite double espresso pods, but I also bought these. These are Ice Leggero. This is a new double espresso pod that's specifically made like for iced coffee. I guess it's supposed to make it like less diluted. And then I also bought single espresso pods, which are in here, not these. But I think I'm gonna try the new double espresso Ice Leggero pod today because I haven't tried it yet and I've been meaning to try it, but the packaging is like really pretty on it. So let's go ahead and do that. Top, top off the makeup, put that in there. Close it, lock it, press the button, and now we wait. Okay, update, I put way too much milk in the latte to begin with because I just spilled this everywhere. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. Luckily, I kind of got a mason jar in there just in time, but maybe if you're doing this recipe and you have these cups, do a little bit less milk because I overshot for sure. Clean up that mess because Oops, but next up to complete the drink, I'm using Torani syrup, and I would just like to say, I have shat on Torani syrup in the past because when I was making my coffees previously with the other machine or like making cold brew that I would just get from the fridge or like from the store, this never paired well with them ever. It always tasted like never like vanilla syrup, always this really weird overpowering flavor that I couldn't even describe to you if I tried. But I went ahead and ordered vanilla and hazelnut Torani to try it again because people are always having it up in their coffees. And for some reason, it works with this machine. I think that it's just because I'm actually making the recipes properly and the coffee isn't turning out weird like it did in my other machine. Personal opinion, I know other people that have the other machine and love it, but for me, it just wasn't working for me. I'm back on the Torani wave. This is really good. So I use a little bit of vanilla syrup and then I use a little bit of hazelnut syrup. I get this combo at Starbucks too. It's kind of like my go-to combo. I just think it's literally so good. If you've never tried vanilla and hazelnut combined, definitely do so. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. That was probably a little bit more than a little bit. And I do a little bit less hazelnut just because hazelnut can be overpowering. Mm, so good. I probably put a little bit too much vanilla in here, but that's okay. But it's really yummy. Coloring looks great. I also really like that new pod, the Ice Leggero pod. I would say the difference between the Ice Leggero pod that I just used for the first time and the one that I really like, which is the Chiaro pod, is that the Ice Leggero pod is definitely less diluted. I can taste that it's more strong. It's a little bit darker than the Chiaro pod. And typically, I don't like my coffees to be like super strong and dark. I like the happy like blonde roast, medium roast type situation. But this one isn't too bad, and I would definitely buy it again. I don't know if it made it less diluted, though, to be honest, because my ice still like melted and it feels just as cold as the other ones, so that may just be like a selling point for them to like jack up the prices. That's my ice latte recipe. If you guys have an espresso machine, I would highly recommend trying it out. Um, making lattes is my new favorite thing. I also really like making iced Americanos. Maybe I'll show an iced Americano recipe in a different vlog. I just posted one on my Instagram story actually, and I post my iced Americano recipe on TikTok, so if you're not following my TikTok, you go over there and check it out. Get a sneak peek before I do it on the vlog. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit down, do some work, check some emails, check Slack, and catch up with my team for a little bit. Hair is officially back for the day because I could not deal with whatever the hell it was doing before. But sorry if you guys can hear the air conditioner in the background. It's gonna have to stay on for this video. I know it's kind of annoying when you can hear it, but it is 85 degrees outside. And when I don't leave it on during the day, it ends up really, really hot in my apartment at night. And I hate sleeping in a hot apartment. So the air conditioner is just gonna have to stay on. So sorry if you hear that background noise. I'm gonna try to minimize it as much as possible. But I just went through, logged in and checked Slack, checked my email and everything, and I'm caught up. I have a team meeting in eight minutes, but I also wanna see what I have to do today for grad school. I'm in my next class for grad school, organizational behavior, and I'm in my second week so far. So I do have a few things that I have to do today that I think maybe do tomorrow this is not my agenda this is my agenda that i'm pretty sure do tomorrow that i want to go ahead and either finish today or get a jump start on so that i don't have to pop it out tomorrow and stress myself out i fell off of using the agenda for a few weeks just because i just felt like i didn't really need it and i don't want to force myself to use something if i don't need it but i'm back on it and i planned out my entire week so i actually did a lot of the lecture work for this upcoming week that I had planned out yesterday I did pretty much all the lecture work and all the quizzes so now all the things that I have left are pretty much like discussion post 
Twitter prompts and class discussions. So that's probably what I'm gonna work on today. I need to create a professional Twitter account, which I am not looking forward to doing. It's technically optional, but I feel like it could help boost my class participation grade if there is a class participation grade. So I need to at some point today create a professional Twitter account. I don't even know how to go about doing that or what even goes on a professional Twitter account. So that'll be interesting. And then I'm gonna do a few of the group discussions and the class discussions to knock those out because I believe that they're due tomorrow. Yeah, the class discussion is due tomorrow and the wicked problem verification is due tomorrow. So I need to do both of those before tackling anything else. Those would be like my main three priorities today. So far, I've really been liking this class. It reminds me a lot of my psychology degree. If you guys don't know, I went to Syracuse University and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology. And now I'm getting my MBA from College of William & Mary which is a school based out of Williamsburg, Virginia. I'm doing 100% online program. Yeah, but what I was saying is that I really like organizational behavior because it's not like accounting where it's like a lot of math. It's a lot of emotions and thought processes and studying human behaviors. And that's literally my entire undergraduate degree. So I can relate really well to this. And I feel like I'm understanding the material a lot better than I was in accounting. So we're already setting ourselves up for a great semester or class duration so i'm really excited for that also i fully hyped up this almond milk but it's doing me dirty today you know when you have plant-based milk and you put it in hot coffee and it starts doing like the weird thing where it separates i don't even know if you guys can see that let me see if i can focus it see where it, like it starts to separate the plant-based milk from the hot coffee i'm not a fan of that that kind of freaks me out it still tastes fine but i just think it's funny because i just hyped up this almond milk so much and it's doing me dirty today that's so gross looking <laughs> There's no one out here. Holy crap, it's gorgeous. I just wanted to see if my Wi-Fi could reach my roof because, oh, it can. That's beautiful. So I think that I'm gonna go ahead and bring my laptop up here. I need to see where the Wi-Fi connection is like the strongest. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my laptop up here, I think, and take my 12 o'clock meeting and like get some, get some sun because there's a little bit of shade as well so I can put my laptop in the shade and then my body can be in the sun get a little tan on and also get some vitamin D I just feel like sometimes it's fun to mix up where you're working because I'm just tired of sitting at my desk to be completely honest so I have a picnic blanket I think I'm gonna go ahead and like get things set up maybe make a lunch beforehand and then come up here I mean like look at that view who wouldn't want to work with that view you know you know what I'm saying Okay, so I'm getting ready to make a little bit of lunch. This angle is terrible, but I wanted to share a latest obsession of mine, and this is hummus. This hummus specifically though, only this hummus, because hummus is like a new found liking of mine within the past year or so, I would say. And up until this point, I only liked restaurant hummus for some reason. Restaurant hummus to me tastes way different than like pre-packaged hummus. Pre-packaged hummus just always tasted way too much like chickpeas and not enough like garlic, salt, whatever else was in the hummus. So restaurant hummus was like the only hummus that I would eat until I found this amazing, life-saving, iconic, legendary hummus from Whole Foods. Literally so good, it's just roasted garlic hummus. And I'm saying this brand specifically because I've tried roasted garlic hummus from other grocery stores. I think I've tried like the Target brand, the Trader Joe's brand, the Wegmans brand, and I've never liked it. It's always tasted too chickpea. But this one is perfect. I'm a huge garlic gal. I love anything that's super garlicky. That sucks because obviously garlic makes your breath smell really bad. But I just love a good garlic, um, anything garlicky. But this is it. This is so good. I need to go back to Whole Foods, make the trek, 20 minute walk to Whole Foods for me to go get more of this because I'm almost out. I literally ate this entire container in 
approximately 24 hours that's how good it is but try this out because it saved my life and honestly it's like a really healthy snack i just have been eating it with these pretzel crisps that i've also found at whole foods but you can find these like literally anywhere they're just like a healthier version i think of pretzel also they're fun to eat because they're crispy i'm having this for lunch and i'm currently making a sandwich i've been a huge sandwich gal lately i just like buying like whole wheat bread or ezekiel bread depending on where i shop and then buying pre-packaged like deli meat slices which i know aren't great for you but you only live once and then i put mayonnaise on it as well so i'm gonna go ahead eat this while i make a sandwich and then like I said earlier, I'm probably going to head up to my roof to get some sun because your girl needs it. Although I should probably put some sunscreen on my shoulders before I go out. shaded but it doesn't so i'm currently like baking in the sun i'm also kind of afraid i'm gonna get attacked by this pigeon that's sitting on top of the roof because he does not look friendly and he's given me the eyes oh and he has a buddy so that makes me a little bit nervous because they're looking at me i don't have any food for them so i don't know what they want from me anyways i hope my laptop doesn't overheat we'll see how long i end up staying out here for because the shade was really, I was really banking on it, and I just don't think it's gonna happen. So, we'll see. Me sitting outside lasted for like maybe 45 minutes before I had to come inside. One of two reasons. One, there's literally no shade up there, so like my computer was overheating, and I was overheating, and all my stuff was overheating, which is not good. So I need to like maybe invest in some sort of umbrella or contraption or like just not or just like sit up there maybe on my lunch break instead because there was no shade and I was literally already getting fried. I can't remember what the second reason was, but the number one was that I was like literally overheating. So I need to invest in some sort of like contraption that gives me shade or like I said, just go up there for like an hour on my lunch break instead of sitting up there with a laptop because that was not ideal. And also I thought I was gonna get attacked by those pigeons because they were aggressive and they were big dudes. All right, I'm currently out and about. I am on my technical lunch break. I get like an hour for lunch and I'm gonna walk over to the park to go see the dogs because it's like my favorite part of my lunch break. I always like walk through the park to look at the dogs and then I'm probably gonna run to Target. Figuring out what to say. You've been so patient and I appreciate it. Wish I didn't get like this. Just ran to Target and the park. Obviously, I picked up a few things at Target. I look rough today. New girl needs to wash her hair ASAP. The, the top of my head is just greasy, greasy, greasy. But I went to Target. I'll do like a haul. I only got two things. I got popsicles and soap, but I guess I'll show you the brands of them when I get back could be kind of interesting also i think i sprained my toe so more updates to come there okay quick haul just because it's two items that i need to get this one in the freezer but i got popsicles color natural sources sugar-free popsicles comes in orange cherry and grape i wanted like a natural fruit pop but target didn't have those so we can't be picky today these popsicles will do for now and then i just got some more hand soap because i just ran out of the one from my kitchen i've never tried the meyer soap but i've heard a lot of great things about it so looking forward to using this i still have like 30 more minutes left of my lunch break but i simply could not walk around outside anymore i literally think i sprained my big toe so if you guys don't like feet maybe fast forward through this part i'm not going to show you my foot but i literally think that i sprained my big toe doing something and i don't even know if you can sprain toes i know you can break toes so i'm assuming you could sprain toes as well but i literally think i sprained it doing something because i can't bend it going down this way but other than that it's fine so it hurts to walk because when i walk you obviously walk like this or i walk like this so my toe like crunches up the way that it hurts to do so but it's not bruised I'm gonna compare it to my other big toe. Oh, I think it's swollen. How does one sprain a toe? I probably sprained it like doing something stupid, like literally just walking around, knowing me. This sucks because I was gonna go to the gym after work, but now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't and I should just ice my foot. Because this is weird. This is a weird thing that's happening. And I don't know why I overthink like I do. I just 
just finished work for the day. Sorry, those windows are aggressive. Just finished work for the day. I also finished a bit of school work. I have a call at 5.30, but I'm pretty much chilling for the rest of the night. I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. A lot of people freaking posted videos today. There were like 10 videos sitting in my subscription box. Granted, I'm subscribed to a lot of people, but Wednesday seems like a very popular day to upload videos. So, probably gonna do that. Might do some more schoolwork, may play some Mario Bros. I've been really obsessed with the Nintendo Switch lately. I think it's just because I'm almost finished with Mario Bros. Like I've gone through the majority of the world and I'm at like Peach's Castle, which is the finale. So I'm almost finished with it. So I might play that for a bit, to be honest, before my call at 5.30. It's about 5.04 now. And then I need to make dinner, but I have HelloFresh, so it's gonna be pretty easy. But yeah, I'm just kind of, in for a pretty chill night i would say and i'm honestly looking forward to it but it all seems to go away when i'm with you i can get nervous when i got no reason to be it's just i still can't believe that you So I'm gonna make this short hair is just out of whack today you guys already know I fixed my hair like 20 times in this vlog It's not gonna get any better, but I just had some sesame chicken with rice and broccoli. I think that that's what it's called I'm not sure it was like subpar. I give it like a 6 out of 10 I don't know if I'd get it again that type of food just isn't really my thing and I always get it and I always make it and I'm always like kind of left unfulfilled so i don't know if i'll be getting that one again but for those that like that kind of food i'm sure you would like it it's just personal opinion wasn't my favorite but i'm gonna go ahead and officially end off this vlog thank you guys so much for sticking with me if you guys made it to the end if you're not subscribed already do not forget to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye